Okay, I know, I know, your house is a place of rest and relaxation. Except when it's trying to kill you. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Here are 10 ways your home can kill you. Number 10 is the paint on your walls. Lead was commonly used in paints before 1978, and it was durable, moisture resistant, and dried quicker. Now this might sound weird, but our homes actually shed. Kinda like a dog. Arf! Over time, paint deteriorates and is part of the dust that builds up on your TVs and windowsills. And if you have or know kids, you know that they'll have their hands all over the place. So you'd better know what's on your walls because lead is super toxic. In fact, long-term exposure or ingestion can cause lead poisoning with symptoms that are unpleasant such as migraines, muscle pain, and even miscarriages. If you want to go further, the effects can be even more extreme in children and include developmental delays, seizures, and even death. So repairing areas with chipped or exposed paint can make your home safer, but proper removal is a big job that needs to be done right, so make sure you contact a professional. Or just don't move into a house with lead paint on the walls. Okay. Number nine is wall insulation. You mean that stuff that keeps me warm in the winter time? Yes, that stuff. Asbestos rightly has the reputation as one of the worst home building materials ever. During the post-war building boom in the 1950s and 60s, it was considered to be a miracle product because it was so crazy versatile. Not only is it fire resistant, but it's super strong and an amazing insulator. However, asbestos is majorly toxic and exposure to it can cause a life-threatening condition called asbestosis which is a type of pulmonary fibrosis that causes healthy lung tissue to turn into scar tissue, leading to incurable respiratory problems. It's also directly linked to mesothelioma, a form of incurable cancer that affects the lungs, heart, and abdomen. And it gets even worse because removing it is extremely time consuming and costly. And obviously it's really dangerous if it's not done properly with the risk that the asbestos will be released and spread, causing even more damage. So if any of you live in a coldish climate and have a really old house, you might want to move. Number eight is your blender. Matt, is my blender going to become sentient and chop me up in my sleep? <laughs> no, it's not. Relax. These days, blenders are usually associated with being healthy, but if you're in smoothie beast mode or thinking of starting up again, you seriously need to give that bad boy a good cleaning. Now, while all that kale and cucumber might be good for you, all the buildup of the processed food junk, eh, not so much. Believe it or not, researchers have found that when blenders aren't cleaned properly, the microorganisms that cause salmonella, E. coli, and listeria begin to form in it. And if it contaminates your next drink, and you consume it, it will usually lead to symptoms like fever, nausea, diarrhea, and vomiting. But in more extreme cases, it can cause kidney failure and even death. Yeah, I know, it might be annoying to have to suds it up every time you use it, but really, if you thought the fiber poops were bad, you really don't want to mess around with salmonella or E. coli poisoning, trust me. Not that I've had those things and had to poop. I mean, I do poop. My poops are healthy. I'm still talking about poop. Poop. Number seven is mold. Not all molds are created equal, but black mold is definitely the worst and most notorious type that can develop in your home. And the scary thing is, by the time you smell it or even see it, it's probably a way bigger problem than you think. The effects can be really nasty, and homes today are actually more likely to get moldy. That's because drywall wood and wallpaper are a breeding ground for the stuff, and this is made worse by the fact that houses are now so energy efficient, they keep too much moisture in. And as you would imagine, mold loves moisture. Hold on a second, mold loves wallpaper? Crap. <laughs> anyway, when spores are released into the air, they can be ingested, land on your skin, or get into your clothes and bedding. And just skin contact alone can cause chronic allergic reactions like bad rashes, skin abrasions, and respiratory problems, making it particularly dangerous for people with asthma. Number six is the bathroom. In America, 6,000 people die each year just from falling in their homes. 
Taking a crash landing down the stairs may seem like the most obvious way to go, but it's actually the bathroom that's the most dangerous place to fall. Think about it, bathrooms are pretty damp and can have all sorts of puddles that you might not even see. So it's no wonder that in the middle of your epic shower performance of single ladies, you might get a little too enthusiastic and lose your footing. All the single ladies, all the single, oh my god! Because bathrooms also tend to be smaller places with lots of hard surfaces, if you do fall, there's a good chance you might crack your skull. It's always a good idea to wipe up any water on the floor and of course, use a good slip proof bath mat. Because really, having your head in the toilet with, you know, only your birthday suit on is not exactly the way you want the EMTs to find you. Number five is third hand smoke. Smoking laws have changed drastically over the last 20 years. Non-smokers can now fly in planes and go into restaurants without worrying about breathing in secondhand smoke. But did you know there's such a thing as third-hand smoke? It's still perfectly legal to smoke inside your home, but if you live in a place where people used to smoke, it's hard to reverse the damage. Even though the actual smoke may be long gone, all those toxins and carcinogens seep into the walls, carpets, and even the electrics. So you really need to give your house a major scrub before painting, but even that might not be enough. Scientists are still studying the damage of third-hand smoke, but they believe that when mixed with moisture or mold, the impact of third-hand smoke could be just as bad, if not worse, than actually smoking. So remember this rule, if your house smells funky, get out of there and live in a tree like a monkey. That's a good idea, right? Number four is your dryer. In 2010, in the United States alone, there were an estimated 16,800 fires that were started by dryers. This led to over 50 deaths, 380 injuries, and $236 million in damage. Lint is made up of tiny fibers that shed off of your clothes while they dry. And even though they're small, they build up quickly. Every dryer has a lint trap, but if it's not cleaned often enough, hot air can't circulate properly through the vent or or exhaust duct. And when that happens, it's fire time! You're building up a highly flammable material in a giant heating machine. That can't end well. Here's some warning signs. If you notice that your clothes are taking longer to dry, it's probably because you need to clean out the lint trap. But just to be safe, you should really clean it out before every use and be sure to also vacuum up all that lint that's building up behind your washer and dryer too. Trust me, taking the 10 seconds every time to clean out that lint trap is much more preferable than running out of your house in flames. Number three is your porch. Collapsing porches and decks are a seriously scary problem that can be caused by wood rot and decay, rusted metal railings, nails, and bolts, or just having too many people on it at once. Oh, but Matt, this doesn't happen to modern homes. Oh, you're crazy. Really? On June 16th, 2015, in Berkeley, California, six Irish exchange students were killed and seven others were seriously injured while they were at a friend's 21st birthday party. The balcony was on the fourth story of an apartment building and was estimated to safely fit around six people. But with over 10 adults hanging out on the balcony, the weight actually got too much for the whole thing and it collapsed beneath them. See, so it is possible. Don't be questioning my advice. Hashtag Maddie knows. Number two is your shower. When you have a shower, the plan is, of course, to get out cleaner than when you got into it. But you could be having some seriously dirty showers and not even know it. Mycobacterium avium is a group of bacteria that builds up in your shower head. Because the shower head is warm, dark, and damp, it's the perfect environment for this bacterium to grow. And it's worse than you think. The effects are terrible and can cause serious lung infections and pulmonary disease with symptoms like breathlessness, chronic coughing and fatigue when it's inhaled or swallowed. Think about it, how many times you've been in the shower singing Whitney Houston and a little bit of water gets in your mouth? And uh, well, I'm not. And now you're dead. It's especially dangerous for people who already have a weak immune system. The only way to get rid of Mycobacterium avium is to clean your shower head regularly, which you can do pretty easily with vinegar and water. Experts also recommend that you change it every six to eight months. Some of you right now are squirming like, okay, I've never cleaned it. I've lived here for 10 years. I'm gonna die. And number one is poisonous gas. 
Every year, hundreds of people go to sleep and never wake up at all, all because of carbon monoxide. The gas has no color, taste, or smell and is caused when fuel burning appliances like your furnace or water heater malfunction. Despite how dangerously common it is, you can stay safe if you install carbon monoxide detectors and make sure that all of your appliances are working and properly ventilated. But it doesn't end there because there's another dangerous gas called radon. It's also colorless and odorless, but this one's got the added, uh, feature of being radioactive. It occurs naturally when uranium in the ground breaks down. And if it seeps into your home, it can cause damaged lung tissue and cancer when inhaled. Like many pieces of advice on this list, I can't stress enough that you take care of yourself and those you live with by maintaining a safe home. But unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about the other type of gas in your house after your family's taco night. So that was 10 ways that your home can kill you, but hopefully it doesn't and you heed the advice on this list. If you enjoyed this, remember to give it a big thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking the little bell beside the subscribe button so that you never miss a thing because I release new videos all the time. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe. Bye. <laughs>